So Fedora 43 released uh, a week ago, I think. And Luna. Luna. Kitty. And for the last few releases, I've been pretty fascinated with what Fedora is doing with KDE Plasma. So, of course, I want to have a look at it because it's KDE. I'm KDE fanboy. So, we're going to have a look at it. So, Fedora Linux 43 is here, October 28th, so four days ago. We are going to look at release notes real, just real quick. Uh, welcome to Fedora. All right. Spin around. Quit nudging my mouse hand. So, apparently, there's a new installer. New installer. Here we go. Fedora Spins now use the new Web UI installer. So I have not seen the new installer yet. So I'm very interested in that. That was the main thing I was looking for. There's the kitty. So just like usual, you get this screen where you can do a live, where you can test the media and then do a live. I only almost never test media. The only time I test media is if for some reason it doesn't work. And then I test media to see if I have a bad download. So there is our first boot. We are in a live session, an installable live session. I'm just going to close this out. I could set my screen to the proper resolution, but I'll just have to do it again later. But we're going to go straight into install. Oh, that was interesting. popped up needed root password and then that went away so that's strange I'm very interested in looking at a new installer for Fedora because I never did like the old one never did like it it's quite slow to start up there isn't it Oh. First impressions I like. Uh, about. Let's see what about says. Fedora 4 Linux 43 KDE Plasma Installer uh, Desktop Edition Installer powered by Anaconda 4344. Okay. Um, this is not terribly different than uh, the new Agama installer, honestly. I like it though. I like I kind of like it a little bit better than the Anna than the Agama. But Agama is still a very new project. I guess this is too. I don't know. Anyway, date and time. Set your date and time. Configure NTP servers. Show AM PM time zone. It does find my time zone properly. That's very good. Next. I like the next. I really do. I hope Agama goes with the next next. Installation method. Change destination, click on that, see what we have, rescan, lock device, that's what I have. Okay, use entire disk. And I'm guessing that if you had stuff on the disk, it would have other options here. Kind of like Agama does, if you have stuff on it, it will give you other options. Let's go next. Storage configuration, encrypt, only applies to new partitions. That's uh, something that uh, Agama needs to work on. So this is really nice. Next. Usernames. Oh, oh, this is neat. Passphrase. Passphrase instead of password. I love this. I mean, you can still use a password. I'm still going to use my overly simple one my password overly simple but pass asking for a passphrase is awesome i like that weak yes it is enable root account um okay that's if you want to set up a separate root account i do not very nice next 
Um, let me go back. This also does not have a button that says log me in automatically. So let's see if that happens sometime in the near future. Review and install. Pretty basic. Still using AXT4 and using uh, ButterFS as sub volumes and for home. I wonder, since it's using ButterFS, I wonder if it has uh, Snapper rollback built in. Be interesting to see that. This is very Agama looking. But I'm not going to subject you to this, so I'm going to pause it for now. And I'll see you on the other side. Install is done, and it says exit to live desktop. It doesn't have a reboot option. There's no reboot button. That's interesting. Exit to live desktop. So now we can, I guess, reboot from here. That was a little janky. So let's go ahead and restart. All right, we have we've rebooted. We are ready to log in to our first use. And on this screen, I'm getting some flickering on my preview. I hope it's not coming through on the video. Uh, next, 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 until you get to oh, back on here. Enable third-party repository. And now you have third-party repositories enabled. That's for NVIDIA drivers, etc. Whatever you need. Let's go ahead and change our configuration. Just uh, updates available. We'll check that shortly. 19 by 10. Hit apply. Get out of here. Keep. All right. Beautiful, beautiful little background. I like it painted looking now there's two ways you can upgrade you can hit this right here do your updates that way or you can do it by console if you do it by GUI it will restart your computer in order to apply those updates or you can sudo DNF update this will not restart your system So a lot of these are the third-party repositories. So I'm gonna hit no. I'm gonna show you the uh, the GUI graphical way that Fedora updates. It does restart your system, but in honesty, it's that's probably the better way to do it, just to make sure everything that you have updated is applied why is it taking so long to fetch updates when I just did it wow that is taking a long time system upgrade Hit update all. It will download it. You can do whatever you need to do while it's downloading. Interesting K right. I think I remember K right being the default instead of uh, Kate. Development. Education, LibreOffice Math, Games, we've got Meijong, K-Mines, K-Patients, Graphics, Quinview, Color Paint, LibreOffice Draw, Ocular, Scan Page, got Help Center, Internet, Firefox, obviously default, K-Mail is installed by default, Multimedia, Dragon Player, Eliza, I like that, I looked at that at Kubuntu Review, it's pretty good, Camoso. Don't know much about it. Orca, don't know much about it. Office. Contact, K Organizer, all the Libre offices, Ocular System, Discover, Fedoric Media Writer. 
Info Center. Are we Wayland? We are Wayland, as it should be. I'm working on that with the Open Sousa. All right, let's go ahead and restart and install updates. I'll show you how this works. And now it's installing updates and then it'll complete the reboot. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. You don't need to see all this. All right. Pick it back up at the end of the completed. It's not very quick. I'll give it that. Be interesting to see if it's a lot quicker in the terminal with DNF update. Oh, come on. You're that close. Let's go. So for the last three or so releases of Fedora, their KDE implementation has been really good. I have a few minor gripes. I'm going to see if I have those same minor gripes in this particular edition of Fedora. One of them being the KDE file picker. It was not on by default. We'll see what that does. Plasma has been updated to 6.5. Awesome. Downloaded an embedded preview release announcement. Nah. And okay. All right. So now we're on 6.5 KDE Plasma. That is a great thing, in my opinion. Sweet. Let's go to info. Let's see what we have running here. So we have KDE Plasma version. This is after the update. KDE Plasma version 6.5.1. KDE Framework 6.19.0. QT 6.10.0. Kernel version 6.17.5. Uh, under the Wayland platform, which I like to see that. And that's got it there. Version of Firefox are we running? We are running 144. Okay, let's see if what it does for a file picker. Easiest way to test that. Let's go to, I think it's images. Dot Google.com, is that right? Yeah, click this little button. Upload a file. What are we using? We are using the GDK. Disappointing. Ah. Yep, that's disappointing. Okay, so to fix this is real simple. Just go into About. In Firefox, go into About. Colon config. It's going to say, this is risky. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Now in the search box, search for file picker. Which is this one. Get the little pencil. Change that two to a one. Hit OK. Restart Firefox. Let's go back to our little images why are you doing that come on work with me here images.google.com click that upload a file now we're in kde file picker so much better so much better so disappointing to see that that's not that really really should be default that's disappointing. But anyway, I really like Fedora KDE Plasma. It's really quite good. The defaults are pretty good. Um, let's see if it... You know what? There is one thing I want to check. 
see if snapper rollbacks on by default if it is we should get Nope, it didn't even give us an option grub was fast boys peace oh it doesn't look like it Which is one reason I run open so a snapper rollback onto my default. Just got to use the default ButterFS for your hard drive. Other than that, it's on by default. Anything happens, it, you have a really easy rollback option. But I've already went through about everything. Um, oh, where is Kate? utility k right that's right so k right instead of kate I, th I find that very interesting i think it's a little simpler kate is more of a full-blown editor games let's see how easy it is to install steam sudo dnf install steam Well, it's pretty easy. Zoom. And remember, if you, you have to enable the third party repos in order to get Steam to install is my understanding. Sweet. Steam should be installed under games. Oh, and I like the new KDE Plasmas. Uh, gives you a dot whenever there's a new thing installed. What's internet? Steam, okay. And Steam, yep. And I know the first time you run Steam on Linux, it does take it a, a little bit of time to come up. I don't know if I should keep waiting or not. And there it is. Boy, it took a long time. But, yep, yeah, Steam's installed, ready to use. Just a quick little overview. I like it. I think Fedora KDE Plasma, I think, is a good addition to the KDE Plasma lineup. And, uh, yeah, if you want KDE Plasma in a, good, in a good form, obviously go Tumbleweed. Second pick, I think right now my second pick is um pretty close to kubuntu or fedora kde depending on what your needs are one or the other oh yeah very good very good that's it for this one as always thank you so much for watching